Welcome back, everyone, to the exciting and dynamic world of Emacs here. So, you know, I was just recalling uh, some very good writing advice I received once, which was basically simple, that if you want to make something of your writing or do something with it, you have to do three things, which is just to write, finish what you write, and then send what you write out into the world. So that's write, finish what you write, send it out into the world, whether that's to um, editors, magazines, contests, uh, blogs, or uh, email newsletters, critique groups. Just send the stuff out there. That's the last step. But basically, those three steps combine to what you might call a macro strategy, a, a bigger picture idea. But then the question is, how do you take a macro strategy, which is a, a big picture, a, a big idea, and then how do you bring it down to something you do every day? What are the little steps that build up to that? Well, that's where you have micro strategies. There's probably hundreds, but the idea is that all these little micro habits and micro strategies build up into something bigger and more impressive. And of course, a tool like Emacs and org mode is great for that. So I wanted to talk about a few micro strategies that that I use in my writing in Emacs that are so helpful that I pretty much use them every day or any time that I'm writing. But before we get into that, uh, first, uh, for a while, I've been looking at different platforms to actually put my writing because there's a lot out there uh, so that I could expand on certain topics that may not be ideal for YouTube. And I finally decided to go with Substack. Uh, I just did a post about using context in writing and why it's important. And uh, you'll find a link below if you want to read it. I hope you will. And uh, if you did, uh, you can leave me a comment to let me know what you think, uh, positive or negative. All right, back to micro strategies. All right, so now the two micro strategies I wanted to talk about. Uh, one is, of course, a pretty obvious one, but I have a lot of different templates that I use for different things. Uh, so I have a short story template that basically takes the the org mode content and um, it's all set up with my LaTeX export class so that it, it can send the org mode file to standard manuscript format in a PDF. So it uses LaTeX to build the PDF and all the formatting stuff is in there. Um, and so this so this is the, the template here. And of course, it's it's very helpful. It has all the things that I need in it. And um, so the question is, like, if I'm starting a new project or a new story, how do I bring this template file in? So I, I could just open the actual template file and copy and paste it. Um, but you actually don't have to do that because there is a, a helpful Emacs function called insert file. And uh, this is a, a function that I use a lot. So I actually put it on the key, the key binding control C and the letter I. So basically now you can, and this allows you to basically pick any file in your file system and just copy the contents once you've selected it into the buffer. But then we could get even even more optimized than that. So if we go back into my config file, you'll see I have a I have a function here which I basically defined. It says insert my short story template. So basically this just takes um, as an interactive function, it takes the contents of the the short story template file and um, it provides that as an argument to the insert file function. So so let's 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 actually see that in action. So the way this works is let's say I go into my documents and I create a folder called, you know, stories. Uh, actually, let's do it backward. Let's open up Dear Ed here. I'm going to do a plus sign and I'm going to create stories. OK, so now we have a directory called stories. And while I'm here, I'm just going to create a new file. I guess you could call this another uh, micro strategy. I have a function for creating a new file, which basically it prompts me for a keyword. So I'll just say, uh, you know, new story. And what that does, you can see, is it, it creates a file with just a timestamp. That's just easier for me because I, I usually don't want to have to think about what I'm going to title a document you know, because it's probably not going to be the title of the story and it might change. So all I really want is like a timestamp and a keyword, and that's good enough for me. So, all right, so now I'm in the new story. So then the, the next thing here is just to run the function insert short story template, and there it is. 
so there you have a, a few micro strategies uh, right there. Um, having an easy file naming convention, a, a template that has all the information that you're going to need, and then um, just a function that, that inserts the template when you're in a new file. So there you go, that's a, that's a few strategies there as we're going through. So now I, I can just put a title on this story. I'm actually gonna, um, I'm gonna steal some text that we can use in this story. All right, so basically now from here, all I have to do is give this a title. And of course, we are stealing from Edgar Allan Poe here. So title, author, and now here is the, the other micro strategy I wanted to mention. Um, so I'm not sure if you would call it a strategy or just a convenience, but basically it's this export file name option here that you can put in the org file. This is so useful that, as I said, I, I, I probably use this for every org file that I create because often when I export a document, because they're, they're not always going to reside in org mode, the, the stuff that you write. So when I export this somewhere, I don't want it to be in the same directory as the file because ideally you want to keep things organized. So if I'm in my story directory here and it's full of not just org files, but also open office documents or HTML files or LaTeX documents or PDFs, it might get a little bit uh, cumbersome, a little difficult to navigate. So to keep this directory clean with just org files, you can use the export file name option here to put it somewhere else. So usually I'll put it in the downloads file and um, you know, you can actually like I could just put story because this this file could get overwritten. You know, ideally, I'm just sending this to PDF and printing it or emailing it or something. So you can put anything you want. Why don't we, you know, we'll call it uh, Red Death because that's the that's the story we're looking at here. So there you go. Those are a few micro strategies that I find helpful in reducing friction in the writing process. I hope they're helpful to you as well. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to leave them below. And uh, subscribe uh, if you want to see more because I have some more uh, writing topics coming up that you might want to see. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.